Hello and welcome to the course. I wanted to go ahead and quickly cover what Forger iOS is. Now Forger iOS or just Forger is claiming to be the most advanced sculpting and texturing app ever designed for a mobile device. You can see it right here on their landing page for their website. You know, it's kind of hard to argue, you know, I got to kind of give them their respect in that regard. The app, um, I've tried a couple apps on the iPad, um, you know, for iOS regarding sculpting and Forger has to be the best one that I've tried so far. Um, so at this moment in time, I will give them that claim. They are the most advanced sculpting and texturing app ever designed for a mobile device. Um, you can purchase this at the App Store. If you go to their website, ForgerApp.com, you'll see that there's a big blue button for the App Store. Go ahead and click that. Download it for the iPad. Uh, I'm not sure if they have an iPhone port, but uh, the way that we're structuring this course, it's going to be sculpted on the iPad Pro um, with the Apple Pencil. Um, you got your portable workstation. And this statement here is, is what I want you guys to pay the most attention to. Um, because for me, for myself as a character artist in the industry, um, being able to sculpt on the go, the, your portable workstation is essential. It's huge. Being able to just jot down ideas, um, not only you know in an app like Procreate, but in a 3D software, being able to sculpt down your ideas, it's huge. Um, and so the sculpting and portable workstation on the go for the Forger app, um, are the two key points that I want you guys to take away from this. It's an iPad sculpting app that allows you to sculpt on the go. And that is what I like to use it for. And that's what this course is going to be geared towards. Now, they do have a texture painting and this physically based rendering um, claim that they say that they do. Um, for myself, you know, I tend to stay away from this. I know that my sculpt is going to end up in a different package at the end of it. And I just use it strictly for thumbnailing and jotting down ideas. But... These are nice features to have and I see where they're going with this. I see what they're doing and I, you know, I appreciate what they're doing. And so just keep an eye out or just, you know, just keep in mind that this is going to be strictly for the sculpting part of the app. Now, if you guys want to learn about the texture painting and more about the physically based rendering, we do cover some rendering in this course, but not, you know, how they present it here uh, with their image based slidings and so on and so forth. But um, overall, this is a really great app. Feel free to go to the website. Um, I provided links further into the tutorial for, you know, specific manuals that they released. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and jump right in and get this course started. Okay.